Welcome to another episode of Confessions of an Ag Teacher Educator. This is episode eight of the Youth Development Series. And the title of this episode is Connecting the Dots. I just got done teaching a great session in Ag Ed 311, and I didn't do a lot of the talking. In fact, I didn't turn on a PowerPoint. Thank goodness. We actually engaged heavily, um, and at least what I want to talk about for most of the class, in something that you know known as mind mapping or concept mapping. Um, these students were given the task to work together in teams of seven, and in those teams, they had certain elements. One was the course schedule. These are the topics that we've identified that we're going to learn in for the 30 sessions that we have for AGET 311. The course assignments. These are the 10 course assignments that we have that how we're evaluating that learning. The essential elements of a successful FFA chapter that have been identified and discussed. The theories for adolescent youth development and contextual factors that impact that development, uh, specifically talking about Kolb's theory of experiential learning, and the standards, both for the individual candidate and for the program from the National Council for Agriculture Education and from the American Association for Agriculture Educators. Professional expectations. You're like, wow, that's a lot of like different things. But see, what's key for learning is taking time to investigate and explore what are the relationships between each of those. Is there a reason that we have an assignment that maybe connects to a professional expectation that's based in a theory and therefore we need a class session in order to learn how to do it? Yeah! So each group was given those tasks and they were given the opportunity to develop a mind map showing how those resources work together. It's really cool. And it made me realize that when we're engaging in instruction, whether it's at the high school level or at the collegiate level, do we take time to make sure that our learners have the explicit connections between why we are doing something? I'm sure as instructors, we always understand, well, duh, but do our learners see that connection? Do they, do they have that cognitive scaffolding or framework in order to hang the important concepts that we're trying to put out there to them or to create meaning from? Um, I just realized how important that was as an instructor, so I really enjoyed it. A highlight of today was not using PowerPoint at all, having students continually engaged, which led to the second half of the class and a movement where I've provided them a syllabus with course topics for each day and identified learning objectives. I said, this is my best guess of how we need to use our time, but you know as a class what you need. So the second half of the class, and from this point going forward in Ag Ed 311, the students at the very beginning will set our learning goals for the day. I'm prepared, I have materials, I have experience, but what do you need to know to be successful? And then they set those goals and we accomplish that goals and then how can we use this time when we're in the class together the best? Um, I'm excited. Day one, I can already tell that this is going to be a great thing for more ownership in the class as we move forward. So it's going to be good. Um, good things. An example of something that I wouldn't have planned, and they probably would have rolled their eyes if I had said, this is what we're doing today as a learning objective, um, was I talked to them about the power of the Word document of Word, Microsoft Word, in order to create these larger uh, projects for like a table of contents and using headings and connecting them. Um, they weren't familiar with that. And so we chose and opted for the last five minutes of class for me to do a demonstration on the screen of Word of how do you use Microsoft Word for a table of contents using headings and subheadings. I never would have built that until the lesson. But they left feeling more confident in creating an artifact that they could be proud of to use in future employment portfolios because we did. So. Uh, I suppose as we wrap up this eighth episode of the Youth Development Series of Confessions of an Agriculture Teacher Educator, Connecting the Dots, we realize the importance of being explicit and allowing learners to create connections between professional expectations, uh, course topics, course assignments, and theories uh, that advance our scholarship of teaching and learning. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you down the road. Peace and chicken grease.